Ukraine. Aux abords du poteau numéro 12, la Niçois se détache. Kena commence à plafonner alors que l'aventure finit fort devant Primadonna. La Niçois s'impose. Deuxième place pour l'aventure qui finit fort devant Kena et Primadonna. La Niçois s'impose. It's one night out in front here for Paddy Brennan by two or three legs. He comes to the last ditch. He clears it well. L'aventure that was running into second. Two or three lengths away then Heroes Colons. Granite Destraval has run his race. Then Cornish Preble and Ruby Walsh trying to time his run to arrive there late, but with six or eight lengths to make up. L'Aventure is going up on the outside now to apply the pressure to one night with two left to jump. L'Aventure the near side. She jumps it just in the lead. Pecking there slightly was one night who now starts to drop in behind. He switched out wider, but one left to jump. And it's L'Aventure, the far side. Rushes through the back and one night's a faller at the last. And this presents the race to L'Aventure. L'Aventure, late and Aspel, is being pushed out in the run of the line. L'Aventure comes up the easy winner of the Coral Welsh National. Wins. Oh, right in her slipstream. Giles Cross clinging on to them. Four from home in the Midlands National. L'Aventure, three lengths ahead of synchronised away to the left. Giles Cross landing steeply back in third. Well away from Mark the Book. And then Morgan B. Bajalor was pulled up. And they make their way to the third last. And still L'Aventure. She's made just about every yard. But joined by synchronised jumping the ditch. And now the two will battle it out over the final two fences. A away to the right on synchronised. L'Aventure stoked up again by Daryl Jacob, who's given the mare a fine ride so far. Two out, synchronised, just ahead from L'Aventure. A remote third now, Charles Cross, and AP now under a hand ride with synchronised down towards the last. That's back in second, L'Aventure keeping on stoutly, synchronised at the final fence, lands awkwardly, hind legs first, and Iris de Bar, and L'Aventure comes to have another crack halfway up the running, AP gets serious, AP at full flight, no move to be denied, synchronised sticks his neck out, and AP and synchronised win the John Smith Midlands Grand National, L'Aventure, a gallant effort in defeat from the mayor, Giles Cross has cleared the last, and will be the last of three to get home. Ara from Linguini. And Bravantara was quick there. And Linguini Bravantara, who goes towards the third last with a good lead now over Linguini. Eight lengths between. And Bravantara again slick. And Liv Farrell trying to raise another effort. Predictor right now virtually a quarter of a mile behind them in third place. And Johnson uh, glances round in behind. Well, he'll struggle to see much at present because Linguini is just coming to two out. And Bravantara uh, saunters up the run in. And Johnson is now just one away from a century of winners uh, this season. To struggle is Stony Rover just sliding back and Schwade's arm along the inside and that was a great jump from Cavintara at the fourth from home. Cavintara by a length now to in second position Emirada Katana with back in behind them along the inside Oscar Ceremony as again Cavintara jumps spring heeled back Schwade's arm. This is the final open ditch two from home and again Cavintara jumps well. Cavintara now Oscar Ceremony is being produced has gone second. Back in third and weakening is Emirada Katana and then Indian Brave as they make the run towards the final fence and it is Cavantara showing in front by four lengths or so to Oscar Ceremony who doesn't appear to be getting any closer at the moment here's the last Cavantara jumps it well jumps it better than in second place Oscar Ceremony back in third is Emirata Katana and along that one's inside Indian Brave and they're racing into the closing stages and it is this son of Lavanture Cavantara for trainer Sandy Thompson a change of luck for the stable given what happened in the first and it's Ryan and there's three fences left to jump. Sam's profile Philip Ben right by half a length to the grey fully charred the grey Lord Royd on the outside Paul Townend who's just taken up the running from Sam's profile with Eurobud closing in behind them under Sean Flanagan and Sam's profile heavy for sea as they are into the straight to the final two fences and it's Lord Roy the leader from Eurobud and Tune Gay in third as they come towards the second last and Lord Royal is a faller at that one and that leaves Eurobud in the lead the hungry tiger Paul Townend is up on his feet runs across to aid his fellow rider on the ground but it's Eurobud a long way clear from Tune Gaya fully charged and then comes give me a moment and into the closing stages it is Eurobud and Sean Flanagan coming home to win by a big big margin from Tune Gaya and fully
man into the wings of the 30th and final obstacle. He gets over neatly. He's five, six lengths ahead of Tiger Roll, who's given his all, but he isn't getting any closer. And Easy's Land is staying on stoutly on the run to the line. It's victory for France in the Glen Farkless and for Jonathan Plugano. A tremendous day for JP McManus. Gets better still as the Davy Cotan train. Easy's Land runs right to win. Thank you.